Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. And I want to deeply apologize for what happened last time. Um, you know, I, I had the music set to the new music and that, that was very wrong of me and I, I'm really sorry that I did that to all of your ears. But yeah, last time we helped uh, Sue's mom build the rocket so we can get out of the plantation. But, you know, before I ended the video, I came down here to see Curly. She has amnesia and Cthulhu is going to help her. Yep, some kind of special mushroom that supposedly helps recover one's memory if eaten. Or if that'll maybe work on this poor girl too. Alright, so, yeah, this is vital for the uh, best ending. We must do this. I must kill this enemy. Okay. So, yes, the find the mushroom. Oh my god, I. For some reason, I'm just not that good at commentary today. Hey, who am I kidding? I'm never good at commentary. Uh. Okay, so I guess the doctor didn't think to look down here when he was taking all the mimiga away. Um. Alright then, fine. The fisherman, he's still spare. But yeah, to find the mushroom, we must go all the way back to Mimiga Village. Such a really, uh, you know, convenient teleporter. Professor Boozer, did you hear about anything? And no, you're still in the dark. Okay. He's still telling us to save Sue, even though, you know, Sue has kind of been, uh, kidnapped by the doctor. Okay, is it right here? That's the assembly hall. Wait. I know this. I know it's somewhere up in here. That's the farm. Is the farmer guy still there? Oh no, he's going too. Uh. Okay, I kind of forgotten what house I need to go to. Or maybe I should actually try going inside them just to see. No. Give me a moment here. Okay, this just in. I'm a freaking moron. I need to go back to the cemetery. But yeah, we have mushrooms over in here. But these are not the mushrooms we care about. We got that little knife maniac too. And Your knife dares to block the spur? How dare your knife be a very good weapon, sir. How dare it. But yes, this is where he wanted to go because, you know, we can't get up here without the booster. So this is storage. And this is the person we need. Got some business with me? Why, yes, I do. Amnesia? Oh, that's terrible. You want the mushroom badge? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess if that'll help. Uh, but yes, I do really need it. Wait, what? Ah, damn it, double negatives. No. Well, you really do want it? Yes. You really want it no matter what? Yes. You don't need it? No. <laughs> See, you gotta watch out for double negatives. They're tricky. We obtained the mushroom badge. Yay! And now with this, we can surely go and save Curly. A mushroom badge obtained from my opinion, it serves no purpose. Hey, wait a minute, buster found me out. That's just a normal badge. How dare you. Such trickery. You say you're going to eat me. I'm a very, very valuable mushroom and the only one in this cave too. Snap. Don't think for one minute that I'll let you eat me without me putting up a fight. Wait, I'm, I'm not going to eat you. Curly is and it's on like hot butter on the popcorn. He's not that hard, although my spur is kind of missing everything. Oh crap. All right. There we go. Mushrooms fell down from the sky. I'm not doing that good of a job here. I wasn't prepared for combat, even though I should have been. Damn it. Okay, just play smart. That's, that's all I can do. There we go. I almost died. That would have been sad. Well, you got my pinyon or pig pinyon, pinyon. I I don't know. I'm not good with those kind of words. Said to have the power to restore memories. Okay. That's good. I'm about to die. And these guys, they're, they're, they're kind of cheap. You know, they, they don't like to give you things. I'm very descriptive with my words today. Oh, 
crap. I meant to say pickups or something. Oh god, okay. Crisis averted. I'll just kill them just to be safe. Because there is something else I can do in here. And I might as well do it now before I go. Alright, come on, knife-wielding maniac. Alright. Now, if you look really closely, like if you have the, you know, the player set in 1080p or something. Well, I don't even render in 1080p, so 720p, full screen, you might be able to see something unique on this screen. This little tiny guy right there. Yeah, you, you could barely see him. And... Well, looks like I screwed up something. Um, but yeah, if you recall... Wait, did I show it off in this run? Or was that the failed attempt at recording? Well, okay, right outside the plantation on Outer Wall, you know, at the very bottom, there's a tiny family, and they're missing their dad. And that tiny guy right there was their dad. But for some reason, he wasn't coming with me, so uh, I guess I have to talk to them again. It must have been the failed recording where I tried talking to them. What? Whatever, I don't know. Anyway, going back to the plantation, because we have a mushroom to give to Curly. And so we have returned. Okay, yes, we, we know all that. Yes, Cthulhu, yes, I have the mushroom. Shut up, Cthulhu. Okay, fine, maybe I just have to talk to her. Do you want to use the mom pinion? Yes. Stuffed it in the Curly's mouth. Because robots, you know, they eat food now. Yay, she remembers me, even though I don't think, you know, he ever stated that his name was Quote, but... All right, whatever. Your name's Quote. You and I are, well, before a great number of us robots were sent to this island, we were sent by the countries of the surface. Purpose of the mission? It was the incredible slumbering power found on this floating island. It was also about the demon crown, but you and I were different. We were sent on a mission to destroy that power. The island was in a mess when we landed. Ravaged by the robots, they murdered scores of poor little Mimiga. It was horrible. And finally, one man seized the demon crown. The robot's mission was complete and the island fell totally silent. But that was simply the beginning of the tragedy. The man who was able to capture the crown turned the Mimiga into beasts. And they began attacking the surface. I faced him and tried my best to defeat him. You were with me then. That's all I can remember. The crown bearer was surely injured by both our attacks that time. How about you? Can you recall something? Anything? I mean, it's not like I can even talk, but you know, whatever. She's fine. Don't worry about her. Okay. And we have this. The Iron Bond. Aww. I have no clue what the hell that is. Connection to Curly Brace. The only person you trust. You'll see each other again. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay. Um. So yeah. She's the only person we can trust in this godforsaken world all right so um now that we did that you know we've ensured that we're going to get the best ending now well as as long as i can make it through a super hardcore portion of the game which now i'm beginning to regret doing because it's, it's locked in now there's nothing i can do about it i have to beat the super hard portion of the game now oh boy this is gonna be tough but anyway to the bottom of Outer Wall to talk to the Tiny family. And let me tell you, traveling down Outer Wall, a lot easier than traveling up. Well, except when you get hit by enemies. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm, I'm just getting hit by enemies. I'm not doing that good of a job. All right, so I made that jump again. And then we go over here to this house. It's the little house where the husband of mine go. Have you seen my husband? Wh who are you? Okay. So so now am I good to go to get the husband? I hope so. Let's roll. Okay, now that all the mushrooms have been taken care of, I can look for this guy. I think he's... Yep, my, all right. My wife's been looking for me. That's probably because I haven't been home in a long time. Fine, I'll go home. Certainly you'll take me there, yes? And we obtained <laughs> Mr. Little, striking a pose. We are not there yet, and we still have the mushroom badge for some reason. All right, so now with Mr. Little in tow, 
he can take the freeloader back to his family. Seriously, how in the hell did he get, like, all the way from the bottom of Outer Wall to, uh, right here? Doesn't really make much sense. Okay, he's home. See, we're great heroes, reuniting people with their families and stuff. Home sweet home is the best. Wow, wow, that's a beautiful sword there. How about we trade it for my splendid gun? And yeah, this whole Mr. Little thing is one big side quest for the final weapon of the game. Now, you have to give up your blade for this weapon. And, I don't know, it's a really good weapon in its own right. And I was initially thinking, like, I wasn't going to trade for the weapon but I was thinking back and ever since I got the spur I haven't really been using my blade now yeah it can be helpful going forward but I don't know the short range on the level two like even though it does a lot of damage and then you know level three has the wider range and not as much damage I think I'm going to go ahead and trade the blade for this weapon might as well. I never really used this weapon before. I mean, I played around with it once. And it was like, eh, whatever. But I'm, I'm going to stick with it. But yeah, this gun right here is really hard to use. Gave him the blade. Obtained the nemesis. This little guy was packing heat. You like my splendid gun? Oh. You can trade him? I did not know you could trade him back. Oh, wow. Okay, um... Well, that's good to know. Alright, you, you can always, uh, trade back to get your blade if you're not too fond of the Nemesis. But yeah, the Nemesis, a really hard weapon to use. Oh, crap! Okay, I'm, I'm still alive. I just gotta make it out of here. Alive, there we go, alright. But yes, this is the Nemesis. It has a really great range, and it practically kills everything in one hit. Why did I say this was a hard gun to use, though? Well, once you get experience with this gun... Okay, well, it doesn't really kill everything in one hit, but, you know, it, it does a you know, decent amount of damage. But yeah, once you get some experience, I don't think I got any experience with it. Yeah, you know, it levels up immediately but it also becomes weaker. Yeah, so whenever you use this gun, you actually don't want to get experience. Seriously, like one experience point and you know, you're 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 just like really super weak. Neat little concept and it's hard to use. Some people don't like the Nemesis. I mean, well, it's not doing as much damage as I thought it would, but it, at least it pierces through enemies, and... I guess it can stack a... Ah, crap. Touch me. No, hurt me! There we go. But yeah, I guess it can really rack up the damage if you constantly spam it, but... I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Like I said, it won't be doing as much damage as my trusty blade, but... Eh. I've kind of been, you know, using the spur constantly. So that shouldn't be too bad. And I'm not gonna make it back up this way, aren't I? No, I have to go through Sand Croc Alley. All right. But yeah, there's one more thing we can do in Plantation before, oh crap. Before we can, uh, you know, go save the day. Okay, so yeah, we came all the way up here just to save this dog. He has been hired as a courier. This is for me. A life capsule! Yay! It's nice to save dogs. Our max life increased by 5, we now have 50. I fight the doctor. You have my support, by the way. Tell Curly I said hi, wolf. I will. I will, dog. And with...
That was very idiotic of me. Okay. I got the life capsule again. I am not about to jump up there. Okay, and yeah, he just repeats the same text. Alright, so, okay. With that, I'm gonna cut the video here. Next time, it's, it's, you know, things wind down. Things wind down as we go and make our way to where the doctor stays. So, yep, next time we're gonna get in the rocket and go to the final cave. Only, in my case, I have to take the hard uh, final cave. Because, yeah, there are two final caves. The, you know, one of them is rather easy, and, you know, you only have the booster 0 0.8 for that. Then there's the hard final cave, or hidden final cave, whatever you want to call it. And because I'm going for the best ending, that's the one I'm stuck with. Or is it because I have booster 2.0 and that's what I'm automatically getting even if I wasn't going for the best ending. But then again, you need booster 2.0 to get the best ending. But if you fucked up everything with Curly, you're not going to get the best ending even if you do have uh, booster 2.0. I don't know. I really don't know. There are quite a few uh, different, you know, like, variables at work here. But whatever, next time is going to be really tough. So thank you all for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Cave Story. Oh boy, next time is going to be really hard for me. Especially since I have never beaten the harder Final Cave. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> huh, well, well, I guess my pain is going to be your joy. But alright folks, goodbye.